Okay, so it is Friday night. It has been a heck of a week, and so we are creating a fast dinner that you can do with only a few ingredients. The first thing you are gonna do is shred some already cooked chicken. This is from a whole chicken that I roasted in the pressure cooker. Um, earlier this week, I had made some chicken pasta. You could also use a rotisserie chicken for this. You could cook some chicken breasts if you wanted to. This recipe actually also tastes really good um, with canned chicken and some people are kind of weird about canned chicken and I get it because it's meat in a can, but it's a handy thing if you are trying to do something really quick and just get it on the table. So I'm just going to shred the rest of this up and I am shredding it all already into my cast iron pan because this is what we are going to bake it in. So I'm going to add in a can of cream of mushroom soup. This is like the ginormous can because they were on sale. Um, normally I would use probably a smaller can. So I think I'm going to end up only using about half of this can. But this is kind of where if you bought the smaller can, you might need a can and a half. I don't really do recipes. I just sort of eyeball things and make them work. So I'm gonna open this and I'm going to mix this with my chicken to get it to a consistency where it is creamy. Let me try not to slice open my fingers here. Okay, so that's, that's about three fourths of that big can and I'm just gonna mix it together and I'm gonna see where I'm at texture wise with this. Okay, so for the amount of chicken I had, I'm probably, I'm just going to throw in the rest of this can. Honestly, there's not that much left. Um, and once you add the cheese in, it'll be fine. So you want it just to be where it's a nice, I don't know, smooshy consistency, I guess, would be the very non-technical term I have it. I like when I do a bake like this, I like it to be kind of saucy. So... The, that's what I'm looking for. I know that's funny. And then I have about, I don't know, half a bag, a third of a bag left of this shredded cheddar. So I'm going to mix that in my chicken as well. Friday nights for us are um, kind of clean up the refrigerator nights. So that's sort of what this meal is a little bit. It's use up some leftovers but let's make something delicious and hearty, especially as the weather has gotten colder. Um, I like to do things that just kind of like stick to your ribs, I guess. Okay, so now that I have my cheese mixed in and I have the cream mushroom soup mixed in and all the chicken, I just kind of smooth everything out. Um, throw that in the dishes. And then I'm going to add a little bit more cheese on top. It says tear here, but it never really means tear here. It means get scissors, so. Um, and I'm gonna add another layer of cheese on top. Now I have found in the past that if I just mix the chicken and the soup together, and I don't actually mix a little bit of cheese in, it's just not as good. So I find it's better if you mix some cheese in down in the chicken and soup mixture and then also if you add a little on top 
And then I'm going to add my tater tots on top of that. These are still frozen. Um, I do not take the time to thaw them out. They will, whoop, watch out. They will cook in the stove, I mean in the oven. But I just do a layer of tater tots on top. You can use the, these are like the flat ones, but you can use the other ones. That's normally what I get, I don't know. I just grabbed the wrong bag this time. But you do just want like a thin layer of tater tots on top. You don't want it to be super bunchy and mounded up and stuff like that because then things just tend to get soggy and I really want to bake these to get crispy. And so that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna bake it until these are crispy. Um, if it's been in there for a little while and the cheese is getting bubbly and you can see that it's melting and your tater tots are not really crisping up, I would swap the oven from bake to broil for those last few minutes and just to kind of crisp up this top. Uh, roughly, I would say it takes about 20 to 30 minutes in the oven. My oven bakes mm, a little hot maybe, but not super hot. So on an average oven, it would take 20 to 30 minutes. But since everything is cooked except for the tater tots getting thawed out, all you're doing is just warming everything up and cooking the tater tots and then you'll be done. All right, so I'm going to just put it in my oven at 350 and we're gonna let it bake. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. This has been in the oven for about 30 minutes and then the kids were in the shower so I just turned the oven off and left it in there. Um, but you can see here that the tater tots are golden brown. Everything is melty and sort of ooey gooey. And so this is just a great one pot meal served in under 45 minutes. Um, you could do it with a salad. You could do it with a vegetable if you wanted to, but it's Friday night. And so this is probably going to be all that we have. I'm just going to keep it easy for tonight. And so I'm going to dish this up. We're going to watch WWE Smackdown, and I hope you guys have a relaxing Friday night, and we'll talk to you soon.